I'm going to make a stem and leaf plot. Alright? So for stem and leaf, we're going to label this side stem and this side leaf. And then we're going to put the orders or the numbers in order from least to greatest when we do a stem and leaf. Alright? So what numbers, uh, what's like the smallest number up there? What do you guys think? Alright. Uh, I see a 56, and I see a 58. Are there any other 50s? Those two are the lowest. Alright. So for my stem, we put the 5, and leaf 6. So that represents the number 56. And then we put a comma, and we put an 8. And that represents the number 58. And it goes in order from least to greatest. Alright? And those are all the 50s. So now we're going to do anything in the 60s. So we've got a 69 here. We've got a 65. We've got a 62. Anything else? I think that's all of them. Okay. So now we put a 6 here. And what would go over here? 2. 5. So it has to go in order, 62, 65, 69, off they go, okay? And how about in the 70s, what do we have? 70, 75, 75, 75, 75, anything else? No. All right, so we put a 7, and what do I put over here? Zero. Zero. Five.
Where would you split the data, the previous number, in its fullest order? 15th and the 16th, right? So the middle number is right in the middle of the 15th and the 16th. Well, we can count them because they're in order, right? So let's just count them from left to right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here's the data split in half. So if there's two middle numbers, you average them, but they're both 82. So what's the median? 82. All right. And I'm not going to do the mean. You guys know how to do that, right? Add them all up and divide by what? I'm going to let you use your calculator to just add. Because there will be a lot of numbers like that. So. <coughs> all right, box and whisker. Anybody done a box and whisker plot before? No? All right. Well, we're going to do a box and whisker. So first thing you have to do is put the data in order. So is this data in order? No. <laughs> yes, it is. So thank you, because the data is in order. But if it's not in order, you have to put it in order from least to greatest. So there are five things that you have to find in order to draw a box and with your graph. So we need the mean, the min. <laughs> I didn't even know the min. Okay. We need the lower quartile, which is often called Q1. Okay, we need the median, which is often called Q2. We need the upper quartile, which is often called Q3, and we need the max. Right, so those are the five things we're going to find, and then we're going to draw a box and whisker graph. So the min, raise your hand if you tell me the min. Josh B. 15. Okay, that's easy. That's the smallest number. Raise your hand if you tell me the max. Monica? 50. Good. 58. And we know how to do median. Anybody know how many numbers are up there so we can figure out the median? <coughs> I think we've got 12 here, so that's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, so there's 32 numbers, right? So if we split the data in half, how many will be on each side? 16. So we're going to draw a line in between the 16th and the 17th number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Right? So I should have 16 numbers below my line and 16 numbers above my line, which means we have to average, right? <coughs> so what's the median? Yeah, right in the middle there, good. So 41. All right, anyone know lower quartile or upper quartile? No one knows? Kind of? Not sure? So what we're actually going to do is find another median. So if I split this data here, we actually want the middle number between 15 and 40. That would be the lower quartile. So I'm splitting it into fourths. Quartile means fourths, all right? So I did a half. Now I need to do another half. So how many numbers do I have between 15 and 40? There's 16 numbers, right? So if I cut that in half, how many will be on each side? Eight. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and split it in half. So now I have 8 numbers here, 8 numbers here. Anyways, so to find that lower quartile, we have to average 31 and 35 and divide by 2. Or you can just figure out what's exactly in the middle of 31 and 35. 33. Okay. So if that's the lower quartile, how do you guys think we do the upper quartile? Same thing, only on the top half the data, right? So from 42 to 58, what would the middle number be? Well, we're going to have 16 numbers, but this time we're going to start here, so we just need 8 numbers 
to the left and the animal to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, did I count right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it looks like eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. So we're in between 49 and 49. So what's the upper quartile? 49. We have the five important points, and now we can draw our graph. To be easy, we're going to start with the number line. Okay, the lowest number I have is 15, so the highest number I have is 58. So let's label from like 10 to 60. All right, so we're going to number our number line, and we're going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, These three, Q1, Q2, and Q3, these three numbers make up the box, all right? So 33 is the lowest number, so that's going to be the bottom end of our box. So I'm going to estimate about here. And the box actually sits above the number line. All right, and then we've got 41 in the middle, and so I'm going to draw another line here. That's the median. And then I've got 49 right here, and we draw a box with those three numbers. Okay. And just so you guys know what these are, I want you to label this Q1, Q2, Q3, also known as the lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile. So those make the box, and then the min and the max make the whiskers. <coughs> Sorry, so I'm going to go here, down to 15. <coughs> and we're going to draw our line here out to 58 for the max. because we had even data. So if I have not even data, so let's say I have seven numbers. All right. <laughs> What's the median? All right, good. So the median is the middle number. So this would be Q2. <coughs> oh, sorry. In order to find the lower quartile, you're going to want to cross this one out. So pretend like it's not there. Look at these three numbers and find the middle number. So this would be Q1. All right, so take the median out. And then for this one, middle number over here, Q3. So anytime there's odd data, cover up your median and then do the middle number of the top half and the bottom half. Okay? Yeah. Uh, 